It was the last place over 200 people wanted to be, and that on a Sunday night. Preston Railway Station kicked off the train and stranded many miles from home. The 440 from London Euston to Edinburgh set off as normal, but what unfolded for passengers like comedian James was far from a joke. And we got an email saying that uh, the train had been cancelled when we were on the train. It was just, here's a cab, get in the cab, they'll take you to Edinburgh. No other trains, no replacement bus services. The contingency plan, dozens of taxi drivers to embark on mammoth journeys. Finished about six o'clock last night, went home, had a bit of rest, and then I got to find out people are still waiting. And I come out and I went all the way to Dundee, which was about 251 miles. Amongst the passengers were 50 school children, 200 miles from home. Fed by a local takeaway and driven up to Scotland via a coach, they returned at 3 a.m. Almost a third of all trains across the country are either delayed or cancelled. And for this particular operator, it's almost 70%. Avanti West Coast told us whilst alternative transport and overnight accommodation was sourced for most of those impacted, we fully understand the frustrations of those customers whose journeys were affected and we are extremely sorry for this. But for Alice and Jack, coming in the other direction from Glasgow, it took 12 hours to get home to their dog buddy. I would have thought that they'd have some sort of plan in place to deal with these situations, so vulnerable and elderly passengers and school children weren't left basically stranded. It's not the first time an influx of passengers have disembarked in the town for the same reason. And with a continued struggling rail network, it certainly won't be the last. In Zaman Rashid, Sky News, Preston.